Hi. I had the opportunity to participate in a video conference this week about visioning the future of Judaism in America, how we will respond to the changes in the past two months, the coming months, what have we learned, how can we use this moment to reimagine our Jewish lives and the world for the better. And then I started reading this week's Torah portion, the Har Bekotai, talk about visioning. God and Moshe are hanging out on Mount Sinai and God is giving instructions for how the Israelites are to live once they've finished their 40 years of wandering in the wilderness and they've entered the promised land. And the very first command that God gives, Shemitah. The Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai saying, speak to the children of Israel and you shall say to them, when you come to the land that I am giving you, the land shall rest for a Sabbath to the Lord. You will sow your fields for six years and for six years you may prune your vineyard and gather its produce. But in the seventh year, the land shall have a complete rest, a Sabbath to the Lord. Every seven years, the land is to lay fallow. The land gets to reset and the world gets to rest. And the second command that God gives, Yovel. Seven times seven, the following year, so every 50 years, you shall hallow the 50th year. You shall proclaim release throughout the land for all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you shall return his holding and each of you shall return to your families. Land and the people should return to their families. Have we not returned to the land in the last two months? To the families, to the basics? Does it not feel like we've been wandering in the wilderness and looking toward the promised land of tomorrow, going back to normal, or whatever our new normal will be? The rabbis tell us, la fochba ve la fochba ha kol bifnim. Turn it and turn it, for everything is within it. Go back to the original section that I just read though. The Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai saying, speak to the children of Israel and you shall say to them, when you come to the land that I am giving you, the land shall rest a Sabbath for the Lord. It doesn't say go work six years and then let the land rest. It says come to the land, let it rest, and then start your cycle. To start the cycle with intentionality and thought, having been resting for that year, having been with our families for the past two plus months. So what this parasha brought to me and what I want to bring to us is this concept of what is tomorrow? Can we take this time, this break, and come out of it with intentionality? And what is the intentionality that we want to come out with? So as we move forward into Shabbat, I want to wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom and that we remember not to be human doings, but human beings and to take the time to be. One of the things I've taken out of this past two years, two months, is a reminder not to always fill up my days just because I can. And I hope you'll share with us what have you learned during COVID-19. What do you want to bring in to the life intentionally that you have?